guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's Sunday, so I'm doing my Sunday reset. Of course, it's my weekly reset that I do every week to get ready for the upcoming week. Otherwise, I would die without a weekly reset. I cannot start my week without one. So I'm taking you guys along and vlogging the entire day. And I just got back from grocery shopping, so now I'm gonna start the whole cleaning process. I got new sheets and I'm so excited about it. They're from Brooklinen and the sheets that I already have on my bed are Brooklinen. They're the exact same set. I've had those previous Brooklinen sheets for years and they've been really through it. They've lasted me so long then I was like you know what it's spring it's hot girl spring it's time to refresh so the first thing that I'm gonna do cleaning wise is wash the new sheets and then put them on my bed you know you're old when you get excited about new sheets oh look at my beautiful new sheets so this is the bedding that I got it's the exact same that I have it's the Lux hardcore bundle so it comes with two extra pillowcases the core sheet set which has the pillowcases and then a duvet cover these are Lux sateen so they are so smooth and every time you wash these sheets they just get softer so these really are the go-to for me and I probably will be replacing this for the rest of my life Just made my bed with the new sheets. I got everything in cream, but what's really great about it is that you can mix and match with over 20 patterns and colors. So let's say you want to do the duvet cover in one pattern and then the core sheet set in another color and then the extra pillowcases in another color or pattern. I just love the clean look of the all cream on my bed. It's only like six o'clock, but I'm ready to jump into this cloud. Like I said, I have the Lux hardcore bundle set, which includes the extra pillowcases, the core sheet set, and then the duvet cover. And you get 25% off by bundling it, which is fantastic because you're gonna all of those pieces anyway so might as well get a discount for it plus Brooklinen is having their biggest sale of the year their birthday sale so you can get 25% off until May 3rd I will leave my code and my link in the description box below for you guys to check that out bed is made apartment is clean I'm gonna move on to a little bit of planning before I do my self-care routine for the night because I like it to be dark when I'm doing my self-care routine and I wanted to get more planning done today usually I take Monday morning to do my planning for the week like my get clear and get current I again have a short week this week because I am going to stagecoach so I would like to get more done today so that I have more time to get like brands done and just things that I need to get done throughout the week. Also the book that I'm currently reading and I'm almost done with is Getting Things Done by David Allen. I had read I think like a couple chapters of it last year but you guys know I'm on that nonfiction kick of reading nonfiction every single morning. I haven't missed a day this entire year. It's my favorite part of my morning routine. I don't do it on weekends unless I feel like it. Anyway I'm reading that book and I was implementing parts of that method without really know. I mean I knew that I was because I had watched a video on it but I wasn't really doing the full method that he has explained in his book. I'm really into the idea of just taking two days on a weekend he suggests two days to basically just take everything that's in my brain anything that I think I need to do anything that's a to-do a project whatever and just put it all out there and create this system so that it can work efficiently because I feel like my system is kind of all over the place and you guys have seen that I've been trying to do different things and I have ADHD so it is so hard for me to stick to something that works but as I've been reading this book it seems so simple but so effective so that you don't even have to think about it that's the whole point of it so you get everything out of your brain instead of always having open loops in your head it's it's all in a place that you can trust because you're constantly going over it every single week, hence the weekly reset. That's where the get clear and get current comes from in my own weekly reset, but I'm not doing the full system. I'm just calling it that. Does that make sense? Moral of the story, the weekend that I get back from Stagecoach, I want to put my phone on do not disturb and just stay in my apartment and do the entire process of setting up the foundation of getting things done by David Allen. Founder's already great on that. It's just the to-do lists and the projects and everything that I really need to work on. I wanna do that. I think that'll be really fun. 
and I'll probably just vlog it as like a weekend in my life. That book, so good and it's amazing, especially if you're not a person who's a heavy planner, which I am, but it's like my two personalities are just, they clash all the time. So I'm really type A, really a planner, but then because I have ADHD, it's fighting constantly. It's, it's just chaos in here. So I feel like this method is really good for people who are more chaotic and have ADHD or just less planners than you'd think because this isn't that crazy of a planning system. It's just really simple, but really foundational. I'm talking in circles, but just read the book, you know, just read the book. It's great. It's a fantastic book. It's a fantastic method. I'm so excited to like fully do it, but I'm going to go eat, do a little bit of planning and then get into the self-care routine. Last night I went to bed at 10 o'clock because I wanted to get in this cloud and just enjoy it. But also I had to do schoolwork because schoolwork is due on Sundays at 11.59 p.m. So I had schoolwork to do and I didn't have time to do the planning for the week or the self-care. So I thought, you know what? I'll just shower and do the whole self-care routine after I do my workout on Monday morning. So I got a little bit of a tan from Coachella, but I want to be really bronzed and glowy for stagecoach. I'm going to do my self-care deep shower, exfoliate, do some self-tan. So I'm going to show you guys the self-tanner that I use. I'm just going to show you the stuff that I use to self-tan because I would rather not self-tan with a bathing suit on. You know what it looks like to apply self-tanner. First, I exfoliate my body. I use a scrub. Actually, let me go get it. TikTok really put me on the Tree Hut body scrubs. This is my favorite one. It's the vanilla shea sugar scrub. I love these. They're just so good. I'll always restock on this. I prefer to exfoliate my whole body with this as opposed to those tanning mitts that like remove the self tanner. I feel like those are way more harsh and this just smells good, feels good. It just feels more luxurious to use this to exfoliate. And then I just use a regular tanning mitt. These come with all the self tanners you buy basically. This is the main self tanner that I use. This is the Tan Lux Hydra Mousse. This is my third bottle, I wanna say. This is my favorite tanner that I've ever found because it doesn't stain anything. So usually when I would sleep, I would put on a self tanner the night before and I would sleep in the self tanner. It would stain the sheets if you sweat even a little bit. So you'd have to wear like long sleeves, but if the long sleeves came up, it, it was a nightmare. But with this, it's clear. It doesn't stain anything. And I will say though, that even though this is the medium dark shade, it does go a little lighter because I will leave this on for a full ass day. And the tan is still kind of like medium, I would say. If you want a good deep tan though, I would just put on two coats of this and then rinse it off overnight. Perfect tan. This is if you are in a quick little pinch and you don't want to rinse it off. This is tanning water. I'm basically out of it, but I just want to show you the bottle. It's the same brand tan Lux, and it's called the water. Essentially you just spray this on your body. Again, no streaks, nothing. You rub it in with the tanning mitt and then you leave it on for six hours without getting wet and you don't have to rinse it off. It just develops a nice little tan. I use this when I am camping at Coachella because it's just so much easier. I don't have to worry about rinsing it off. Even though you shower every day at the campgrounds, it's just nice and easy to use this without thinking about rinsing it off or the timeline. For my face, I used to use the cream. So you apply this to your face like a facial cream. I apply moisturizer before it and then put it on and it tans your face. I really like this, but I broke the cap somehow and now I feel like that's not hygienic to use. So I just want to show you it, but I don't use that anymore. I now will just put some of this on the mitt and use this stippling brush and just put it on my face for a little bit, which is fine. It works great, but I prefer this. That's kind of the tanning routine that I've been doing for a bit. If you guys have any tanning recommendations, I love quick tan. So if you have something that's quicker, it's not like a six hour one or like a water, leave your recommendations below, but I am allergic to the loving tan one, which is so sad because that was my favorite self tanner, but it has walnut in it. And that is why I was having eczema all over my my skin because I'm allergic to walnuts. So that is tragic. But if you have any self-tanner recommendations, leave them down in the comments below.